Souls with Superficial Gallery, and welcome to episode 10 of 31 Days with the King. This is a short series dedicated to all things Stephen King, with a daily upload on one of his works. So we'll try to incorporate his more popular titles, as well as some of the ones that might be lesser known, or even not as popular amongst his fan base. So with that, let's get started with today's pick, and it is Lissy's Story. And this one has my absolute favorite cover on it, and we'll get into why in just a moment. So, Lizzie's story is a story about a woman whose husband is a very popular and well-known author who passes away. Um, after about two years, she decides to go in and clean out his writing space, start trying to put his belongings away. And during this time, she also starts to deal with the grieving and healing process, as well as deal with some repressed memories and things that she has actually kind of forgotten about over their 25-year marriage. So the story itself is really beautifully written. It has a very emotional parts to it. It has a lot of funny parts as well, if you can believe that. But of course, it wouldn't be King if it didn't have supernatural and horror in it as well. Now, there is a horrific element to it that I want to leave as a surprise prize to everyone, but the supernatural is actually one of my more um, favorite, I guess you could say, supernatural tropes that he uses in one of his stories, and that is the place Booyah Moon. So Booyah Moon is the place that Scott, which is Lissy's deceased husband, goes to in his mind to draw inspiration for his novels, as well as fight off some personal demons of his as well. So earlier when I mentioned that this is one of my favorite covers, this is actually why if you take the dust jacket off of this, you actually get a very beautiful drawing here of what Booyah Moon actually looks like. So the black and white part of it is meant to represent that horror aspect of the supernatural place that he goes to. And the color part is the loving and inspirational part of Booyah Moon. And to me, it's just an absolutely beautiful, you know, cover to a book, a little bit of a surprise underneath the jacket. You normally just get a regular, you know, looking cover, but this is actually very beautiful, and the back is the same. So very, very pretty. Now, this is a very personal story of King um, himself because he was involved in an accident in the late 90s where he was hit by a van. So while he was recovering from that, his wife Tabitha actually went in and kind of decided to redecorate and spruce up his own writing space. So when he came home from recovering from the accident, he actually got the inspiration for the novel because he started to think what would happen if the alternative had happened here and I had not made it through this accident. What would Tabitha be going through as she has to put away all of, you know, this life that I have in this writing room, unpublished works, things like that. So it's a deeply personal novel of Stephen King's as well. And I think that's why it translates so beautifully into the story for Lissy and Scott. Now, this is getting an adaptation. It was announced in April that it would be an eight-part miniseries picked up by Apple. I think I read that Julianne Moore has been cast in this, which is super exciting. I love her. And Stephen King himself is going to script the show. He has been quoted as saying that the content and what the novel is about really wouldn't be given its due justice if it were to be condensed into a two or two and a half hour movie. And so with that, he decided to do the eight part miniseries. And I'm very happy about that because the more content we can get from one of his works into an adaptation, the better. 
So uh, with that, I hope you have enjoyed our little rendezvous with Lizzie's story today. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't show you the beauty of the king himself. Very dreamy in this photo. Now, don't forget to subscribe to Superficial Gallery. Hit the bell to get notified when new content is published. Um, like the video, comment below if you've read it. Let us know your thoughts. We're also taking requests. We've already done one this month for Katie when we did the Green Mile. So if you have a favorite King work of yours that you would like to see done on the show, you can comment that below as well. You can also tweet me at MailsBells84 out in the Twitter sphere. We've gotten several requests in, so you'll be seeing more of those come up throughout the month. Um, I will be back to haunt y'all tomorrow with a very special double header since tomorrow is the 11th episode. And I hope you all have a great night and I will haunt y'all and talk to y'all then. Bye. Aww.